already feeling the impacts. It's very warm and humid outside, and we've also seen tropical downpours in our area. Here's a current look at Tropical Storm Barry. Winds are sustained at 65 miles per hour, and we are going to continue to see that storm weaken. Now, you can look at the effects here on our Storm Team Tower cameras where it is very cloudy outside. Temperatures are warm and humid in the low 80s, and we are seeing periods of heavy downpours throughout the afternoon, and that's going to continue tonight. Now, looking at Barrie right now, center of circulation right near Lake Charles. Look at all the heavy rain that's just offshore right now over the Gulf. So while flooding has been a concern already, it's only going to get worse as these rain bands move on shore. And we're seeing the outer effects here with tropical moisture streaming in from the south, fueling a few showers and thunderstorms in our area right now. One heavy downpour just moving into the northern portions of Chilton County will clip Calera. Also, light showers down the 2059 corridor back into Tuscaloosa and into Green and Hale counties. So the outer rain bands really impacting West Alabama. More spotty the farther east you go and just cloudy in East Alabama with a few showers here and there. We don't have any, uh, thank goodness, no concerns for tornadoes for the rest of the evening. Just on and off waves of rain will continue. Right now we have a few heavy downpours moving through Winston as well as um, into southern portions of Walker County. So no lightning with this right now, but we've already racked up a lot of rainfall, especially down towards the Mobile Bay area, around five inches of rain. Rainfall totals will start to climb through Gulfport and along the Louisiana coast. So this is a very slow moving storm. You can see the latest track here likely going to weaken to become a tropical depression by tomorrow afternoon with winds around 35 miles per hour. Throughout the day on Monday, the center of the storm will track towards the north. Now we're about 400 miles away from the storm, but we're already feeling the effects. So as you can imagine, we're going to continue to see waves of rain through early next week. Lull in the action overnight tonight, but then repeat rounds of rain throughout the afternoon tomorrow. More spotty in coverage on Monday as the storm continues to just become a low pressure system and from there the remnants of the system will track off to the north and finally we will done, be done with Barry by around Tuesday. Future future cast for rainfall totals. The highest totals will be near Lake Charles, upwards of 10 inches possibly for the Louisiana coastline. For West Alabama, where we do see some stronger thunderstorms, we could potentially see around two inches of rainfall. But you'll see most of the day will be dry tomorrow as far as the morning goes. By the afternoon, that's when things are going to start to turn soggy as those outer bands track into West Alabama, pushing towards East Alabama later in the afternoon around dinner time, and then continuing through the evening and into Monday. So looking at the Storm Team seven day forecast, temperatures only stay in the mid 80s because of the widespread showers and also the cloud cover. It's going to feel very warm and humid, though tropical feeling outside with that Gulf air rushing north. Winds will start or rain chances will really start to die down towards the middle of next week, but that's when temperatures